Alright, well, let's go with y'all. We're gonna be over why Deep Oaken literally is not a hard game. And y'all just can't stop complaining for no reason. Like, you cannot let these devs win. Every single time they add stuff, you just gotta complain about it. I understand they have some really bad updates and stuff like that. But some of this stuff is actually crazy how y'all complain about it. I feel like a lot of the player base right now forgets that the game's description literally says... Deep Oaken is a difficult game with permanent character loss. Losing characters is a part of the game that should be expected. Not, holy shit, I just drowned 50 times and I'm in 4-2. If I wipe, I'm quitting the game because this game's too hard. The main reason this game isn't harder is because they know they're going to lose a lot of their player base. Because y'all already lost your shit when they made the game a little bit harder. But if they go and ask some crazy bosses that you actually got to grind for and learn the attack patterns. Because it's got some crazy mix-ups and stuff like that. Y'all are just not going to farm it. Even if it gives you... Three star rail blades, three star enchants, no matter what, every time you beat it. So obviously, first thing we'll be getting into is 15 drowns to send you to layer two. This, it's not that bad of an idea because they said off rip, if you had enough drowns, you're gonna send you to layer two. Y'all had no complaints. When it gets added to the game, it's the end of the world now, apparently. Y'all literally are so used to ganking for hours on end and having no consequences besides having to fight the enforcer that you lose your shit when you have to go down to layer two that's not on a PVE build. This game could literally be 20 times harder than it is right now, and I just want to go over that. I want to tell y'all the three stages of being a hard game. Alright, stage one, the game's tedious. It's not really that difficult, but it's tedious and annoying to do. This is like progression, having to seal 20 minutes to get across the map, and then a boss like Chaser. It's an easy boss, but you gotta spend like 20 minutes doing it because you can't really do nothing, especially if you're solo. Some more examples of this, Kaido. If you get hit by Kaido while you're fighting him, you're pretty bad. All you have to do is stand behind him and m1 for like 30 minutes and then he's dead there's no challenge to it at all and if you happen to get hit by his ice beam it's only because he got the jump on you when you're sailing and you didn't see him like there's literally no reason you should be dying to kaido unless you have glutton and you're running out of the food all right stage two some artificial difficulty the boss is like kind of hard whatever you're fighting is kind of hard but it has some bullshit one shot moves that you can't do nothing about it's not like a crazy move this can include etheron spirit bomb the Duke, I guess Spirit Bomb, I haven't seen him use it in so long, I don't even know if I want to count it on here. And just stuff like that, one shot moves that really shouldn't be in there, but they want to make it somewhat hard and make the illusion that it's hard, so they make it one shot you. Another example of this is an insanely high HP, so Kaido, Primadon, stuff like that. You don't even really get good rewards, and it's not that difficult, it's just you have to spend hours fighting them for no reason. I'm hesitant to include Ferryman on this list too, because he does have pretty high HP for what he does. The boss fight's literally just pressing Q and doing aerial attacks at him for about 20 minutes if you're a solo player on a not PvE build. But yeah, that's about it for artificial difficulty. Now let's get into true, actual, organic difficulty that should be with every boss in every game. Now, true difficulty involves a wide variety of moves, wide variety of special moves, a smart AI, intelligent AI that's actually gonna fight you and do some unpredictable stuff. Like you're fighting a real player. If you're fighting like an actual good player, they're not just gonna sit there and do a one-shot move and then have insane HP while you sit there and whack at them. And if you miss one pair, you're dead. Now I will say, if a boss has high HP, it could be organic difficulty if there's the opportunity for high damage abilities. For example, I'm just gonna use Dark Souls because I don't really want to use it, but like it's the only game I can think of that has really good bosses and design like that. But in that game, you can get repost, which do like a quarter of the enemy's health. There's special things you can do that literally like half of the enemy's health if you do a like, certain weapon or a certain thing that's on the map that you're fighting the boss on. It's just stuff like this that makes it bearable to fight the boss. And it's not a 400,000 HP boss. You just gotta sit there and use your entire mental capacity for that entire day to try and beat for some mid-ass loot. Now, some bosses in Deep Oaken that could fit under this category is Duke and Ferryman. If Duke and Ferryman's AI actually worked at the time, because deadass, you can just hit him into a wall for like 10 minutes straight and you get the reward. This is some of his minions, doesn't try to parry, doesn't do anything. He just sits there and lets it happen. But if you actually used all of the skills in his arsenal, it could probably be a pretty good fight with the minions coming. And hey, summons the minions on you while he's charging up the spear bomb, so you gotta quickly defeat him and then dodge the spear bomb. Or even store that shit up and release it back at him and hit him with his own spear bomb. That could be a cool mechanic to get rid of a chunk of his HP for like a solo player or something and not trying to wait that entire 20 minute fight and just kill him quick. That could be definitely a good addition for a way to like parry, reverse send it back at him, just something like that. Yeah, moving on from bosses, the really only hard thing in this game is PvP, player versus player. Try not to die in the depths by a dude ganking you or just getting sent to the depths when you're playing Chime or ganking somebody outside of Chime. 
feel like the way they could fix this just a little bit with Chime, make it five skulls. Because you got people elo grinding heavy, and I feel like it's not as much as it was before. Before it was used to get Bell. Well, when it first released, it was used to get Bell. Then it was used to get XP, but now it's used to farm elo, and I feel like it's three skulls is a little too little when you're trying to farm elo. Bump that shit up to five skulls, and I feel like we'd be at a very sweet spot for Chime. And hey, for all y'all people complaining about the 15 drones in your layer 2, Tell them to add a suggestion. You go to Claris with 15 medallions, you say, cleanse my soul, boom, five drowns taken away right there. Because I feel like it should stay in the game. I feel like you shouldn't be able to just do a little thing and have all your drowns removed. I think you should absolutely go grind for it and only get a little bit removed. Because if you really care about it that badly, you're going to go do it. So I feel like it's not that deep that you got to go and get all your drowns removed. It's just a little thing to help it not be as tedious having to escape floor two every single time you wipe. Me, that's about it for this video let me know what y'all think in the comments thoughts on the game if you think it's hard what they can do to make it better hey, hey i'll see y'all subscribe to dizzle on god he the best deep hooking youtuber